Good afternoon. Hi, I'm David Lyle, teacher and UTLA secretary. And I want to thank Ms. Gladson for bringing this discussion forward. We need to start talking about the treatment or mistreatment of house teachers. Teachers don't want colleagues in the classroom who shouldn't be in the classroom. We also want colleagues return to the classroom when they're cleared of accusations. And many colleagues who are cleared of accusations are not being returned. So having this discussion is a step in the right direction. At the same time, unfortunately, any motion is only as good as its implementation. And the, the board can make a policy change, but unless the policy decisions are made in a fair and equi equitable manner, then this situation, the mistreatment of house teachers is going to only continue and it's going to get worse. We need to um, embrace policies that put the interests of children first and um, that's currently not happening. The current environment seems to be fire first, ask questions later. We need to start celebrating the efforts of teachers and health and human services professionals and not continue to demonize their commitment to public education. Well, what effect does this demonization have on student achievement? Let's say you have a highly effective teacher, consistently producing positive results, engaged students, and is very demanding in terms of creating high expectations for students. A student happens to, to not like the teacher, and they know right now in our current environment they can make an allegation against the teacher and if that allegation, even if it's unfounded, there aren't any consequences against the students. Many teachers have told me that students have come to them and said, hey, you know, we've seen the YouTube videos where, it, YouTube videos about, hey, how to get your teacher fired. You know, and, and students talk about that. And, and so, so a student makes a, an accusation, teachers are removed from the classroom, and then often, Pardon? And then often, once they're cleared of charges, they're still not returned. Currently, also, currently when teachers are dismissed, uh, they're entitled to a Skelly hearing by law, yet the hearings themselves are perfunctory. The Skelling officer is the exact opposite of neutral and with rare exception recommends that the teacher be returned to the classroom. We're also asking that one word in the motion be added at the top of page 12, the first resolve, We'd like to add independent. So they should be independent trained investigators. These investigators absolutely need to be completely independent and approach each case with a neutral eye. Lastly, we want to work together to make sure that all students are safe and the educators, especially the innocent, are treated justly. Thank you. Next speaker.